I'm, I'm shooken up. You know, I don't know if it's hit me completely. This man who wants to go by Robert says he had to think fast when he realized something went terribly wrong. Praying the whole time, you know, I was, you know we were giving him his compressions. Praying that his CPR skills would help save a man who drowned near the fish hatchery and trail. Neither were wearing a life jacket. Rod Edwards with Jackson County Fire District 3 says the man and his girlfriend in their late 30s were riding in a Tahiti like the one seen here. They had just gotten in when somehow they flipped over. Witnesses say they heard a lot of commotion from those rocks behind me where people were fishing and then they realized a Tahiti was tipped over and that somebody had drowned. We tried to get water out of his lungs and got quite a bit out and we gave him some compressions to keep his heart going but by the time I was even there he'd been in the water probably about 15 minutes or so. Another gentleman saw that they were having trouble and he threw his whole pole in and held onto the line and pulled in the lady. He's the real hero. Edwards says they do not believe alcohol was involved but still reminds people to always practice safety on the Rogue River. Know what you're getting into. Have someone with you that knows the river and knows how to navigate the hazards that we do have up here. David Bowman has been renting out rafts for eight years at his shop and says he always encourages people to wear their life vests. Our policy is that uh, you have to have your life jacket on before you get into the raft. And on uh, Tahiti's inflatable kayaks, uh, we won't even let you go if you, ha if you haven't done it on the river before. But in the end, Robert says it was the team effort of many who did what they could to save a life. I had Jesus tattooed to his arm. I believe that the Lord had called him home. I tried calling around to see if the Tahiti was rented out, but only one rafting company in Shady Cove said they rented one out today and could not confirm if it was theirs that was involved in the drowning. The woman was sent to the hospital with leg injuries. Live in the studio, Roma Villavicencio, NBC5 News.